All right, hello everyone. Um, today I'm gonna add in the health bar. So let's have a look at what that's gonna look like. Now, to do this, I'm gonna go into the UI layer, which we haven't used before. I'm gonna create a new sprite, and I'm going to erase the whole thing, which is probably a little bit unusual. Now, in the place of this, I'm going to build our three heart sprite and essentially what I want it to look like is to have like a an outline of a couple of squares um, just trying to figure out exactly what to make them look like probably a little bit hard to see at the moment Hmm, I think we can do a little bit better than that. Let's get rid of that. I'll just do it in white for the moment so you can see it a bit better. Um, so I'm thinking maybe like three down, one, two, like that, two, I'm thinking maybe something like that. How many hearts could I do that way? Oops, I have to fix that one up. I'll stuff that up pretty badly. Yeah. I could probably do them a little bit a little bit fatter, fit a few more in, sort of like, what is it, 32 pixels across? So maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do three hearts. So let's um, get rid of this. And I'll do three down. Maybe like that. Probably gonna give me enough to do a, not quite enough to do a third one. All right, so I might make them a little bit wider just to, to try and fill in that space a little bit more. So let's, uh, I might have to do a point myself. So it look a bit funny, don't they? I'm sorry, I'm just having a quick play around to try and get this right. Um, so another way to think of it is if it's 32 across, you can divide that by three. Um, that would be 10 squares per heart. There's a little bit left over. Two, three, four, five. I'll just fill in those spaces there. And that's not looking too bad. I reckon that one looks all right. So let's uh, try and repeat this pattern if we can.
last one. staring at that this whole time so I'm just going to fill in the border of this now to make it just obvious that they're looking at a heart and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the oops. I'm not very good at this. As you can see, this isn't my uh, area of expertise. I stuff that up again. I think I have. So I've got my three empty hearts, that took us forever. I also managed to miscount somehow, but that's okay. I think it looks all right. I've also got the wrong shade of red. Um, but I think that looks okay. Oh, or it's not, uh, it's not bad enough for me to want to change it, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to do an animation editor. Um, and I know you might be thinking this is a bit strange. To do animation for health but it'll make sense in good time so we're just going to fill in the different health states as different states of the animation right oh what am i doing Gotta go to the next one, the next one. I'm gonna stuff that up very early. And then the last one should be full health. All right, so that's my healing process. Um, and they'll appear here on the screen. Um, it's not probably not big enough. So if you go to edit, it's hard to see. There's actually a little box here. You can click and drag to make this bigger. And you just got to move it so it'll be within shot, basically. So you want it to be, that's not too bad. Actually it might be a smidge big. Maybe we'll make it a bit fatter like that. Yeah, all right. So that's what I want. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add in some code here and we're going to say we want always we're going to be checking a variable a global variable so this is brand new we're going to make one of these called um, health health all right um, and this is going to be managed in here and it's always going to be getting the health of the player and we're going to be oh, I also need probably a expression okay so we're always going to be getting the health of the player that's going to be going into um, evaluate I think and also a into both um, and we're going to say a is equal to um, one, let's say a plus one, All right? And then the out is going to go to that section of the animation, All right? So I'm not sure if that's going to work so well. So we're going to go to frame one. In this case, it doesn't work. We need to go to frame two, I think. Oh, 
What am I doing? A plus two. Yeah, it takes us to frame two, which is one health state, plus three it takes us to frame three, which is two health states, and frame four takes us to full health. Okay. So we're going to go um, plus two for now. Plus two. Yeah, we'll go plus two. Okay. Um, we'll just have to remember that this is two less than our state, uh, but it shouldn't matter too much outside of here. It's just normally I would set the, the health to one, but then if you do multiple levels, it'll always reset the health. So that's why I've done it this way. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is we then want to go into our enemies and change them from restarting the level to be um, essentially the, to take health off. And we're going to say that we also always, I suppose I can use the same always. We're going to be looking at a filter um, and we need our global again, which I suppose again I can just sort of leave here. Um, so we're always going to be getting our global and checking if it is greater than now when it's zero we're on one health state so it must be when it is uh, less than or equal to negative one is when our character is going to die right because remember zero is one health so negative one or lower is less than that so if that happens then we are going to then we're going to restart um, if it passes. Yeah, I'm just going to play because sometimes it has like a glitch where it will just restart, so it's good. I'm now going to go into oh, back into the game world. And I'm going to change our spikes and take off this restart game, and instead we're going to. Um, we're going to uh, minus one. So we're going to get the value minus one. And I'm going to add that to our health. I know that sounds a bit silly. Adding a negative value, but it should subtract our one health away. And in theory, these spikes should restart the game still. Ooh. And it never goes back. Okay. That's interesting. Right on. Um, cool, cool. Okay, so let's go back into, I will do the enemies as well. We're going to say that if it hits uh, rather than restart game, again, we're going to minus one whoop, from our global. Mm. And the same for our flying enemy. Get rid of that. And we minus one from our global. Being health. Okay. Um, and the reason that I'm doing it this way is that I want to also add in a health, um, it's like something you can pick up that gives you health. Now, one thing that I will have to change in here is uh, the, the health bar is never resetting. So I need to do that. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So the problem here will be that the health will, um, even when you die, it will stay at negative one. So we just gotta reset this, uh, this value here back to zero. Uh, so we set it and then we restart game. So I'm just gonna make sure that this works. Yeah, okay, good. So yeah, the spikes kill me, but then the game restarts. That's good. Mm -hmm. Dang it. I was hoping I'd be able to kill that person. Anyway, <clears throat> now, so that works, um, and it's good because it's not just constantly killing us. Let's add in a something that gives you health. So maybe here, we'll add in a, whoop, a sprite. Um, 
let's have a look at um, what objects we got. So we could do some food, or we could do like uh, an actual health thing. To, I might go an actual health thing to pick up. Okay. And all we're going to say is upon the collision, um, one's always going to not collide with this. Am I in the wrong layer? That's why. Whoops. Um, no wonder we can't hit it. That's not in the game world. Let's try that again. All right. Um, so upon the collision with this, we are going to be destroyed. And we are also going to add one to our global variable. Didn't mean to put that in there. Right. So in theory, if I were to collide with this, it should add one to our global variable. Oh, it didn't change anything, did it? Oh, it's because our global variable is not set to health. There we go, let's try that again. There you go, that fixes my health. And now if I get hit by one of these dudes, it should just take one off my health. Yeah. Anyway, you get the idea. So that's good. That works nicely. Uh, I'll just add in a couple of small changes. I'm going to make it not solid so you don't like bump into it. Uh, and I'll give it a name as well. Wonderful. So that is our healing system done. Oops, spikes will kill you regardless, I think, because you stay on them. Yeah, <laughs> um, we can make some slight changes to that. You can make it so spikes will only hit you on top. Probably not a bad thing to do. So then that way you don't get killed just by walking into the side. You have to actually jump on them. Um, and that's it for this one. So thanks. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.